Welcome to a new video. In the previous episode I showed you how to use LEDs in a good way. And I mean this one here should be a little twisted <laughs> like it is more like outdoor lighting. So we are more into showing you how to use LEDs in the best way. And this is a great place to be right now because this is a harbor area and this is to, there are some bath uh, outside, there are some different things and you can you can see that there is used in ground lamps and in the background there is some blue light which is just great contrast because you can see that it is reflecting in the water. One thing that I just want to point out here which is really important is that the luminaires that you are using is coated because otherwise in a few years you will see that there will be rust and so on. So I mean this is pretty much it. Uh, this was the first application uh, that we wanted to show you and then we moved closer to Copenhagen to see a lot of other outdoor lighting installations. Just to start out here, I mean this is basically what you have used here, some uh, different sorts of uh, handrail lighting. So you are integrating the luminaires into the handrail and that will lead to a great atmosphere here in my background as you see. And then they have used some different sorts of colors, uh, you know, on the walls over here. So you get some sort of reflection from those, which is also giving a nice atmosphere, I will say. So this is a great way to use LEDs, uh, outdoor lighting, and uh, also to, to do some extra things. Of course, this solution is pretty expensive, but it just gives some extra things to, to the environment uh, here in Copenhagen. So uh, that was the second one, so let's move to the third one right now. The last lighting concept I want to show you guys is uh, here on the station. It's a pretty new concept actually, and it's a new station as well, like in the airport, which is called. And as you see, there's a lot of different lighting concepts. Let's just start here. I mean, the first one I want to show you is behind me, which is the larger poles, where you have some wall washing from the bottom of the pole up to uh, around the middle. It's, it's making a, a quite interesting atmosphere here, and it's really opening the environment. And what you see here on my left side is some bicycles, which is typically in, uh, in Copenhagen. There's a lot of bicycles, and then they have tried to move some light in the top of these poles, which is also quite interesting. Um, on the buildings, you have these float, floating buildings with some poles as well. There are some up lights, which is in ground lamps. We also saw that at Emma Beach, but uh, this one here is pretty larger one, so they are actually really uh, bright. So they are just uh, lighting up all these uh, different floating uh, uh, in environments and floating uh, roofs here in, uh, in the Nurport station. So this is actually the last one I want to show you and I hope you like this one here because I mean this is, this is just great to use LEDs in outdoor uh, environments because the lifetime will be longer and the energy efficiency is just higher when you are out in cold environments. So uh, with that being said, thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, you can just subscribe to our YouTube channel here. Thank you for watching.